Hey, what is up, my deco homies, my deconstructing individuals? All of us changing our thinking from what we were originally taught, maybe as children or as young adults, or you know, everybody. We've been taught wrong things, and we gotta change our thinking, but whatever. Today I'm getting into three different Supreme items that I received. So I've been holding on to this Gundam figure. I'm gonna actually like literally build this when I move to Honolulu, which I'll be moving there very soon in the very short few weeks. Hopefully not more than a few months. I know I've been like waiting since like June of 2021 to, for this move to happen. And I've been telling you guys like it's gonna happen like the last three years ever basically ever since I quit my job as the children's pastor at that church like I've been ready to get out of here and so I've just been trying to find a job that would help me get out of here and like federal jobs you can transfer you know so oh, I'm breaking into the supreme Christmas t-shirt by the way but anyway it's so like federal jobs you can transfer with and so you know living in the United States decided to try and find a federal job that I could transfer with Post office seemed nice. I like being outside. I was thinking forest service or something. Post office is all right too. And uh, you know, everybody loves the post office, right? You gotta get your stuff delivered. They're pretty necessary. So it was kind of nice to get that job like right before the pandemic. So it didn't really hurt my plans for moving to Honolulu. Um, let's see, which one is this t-shirt? Ah, this is the pink lady. You guys know about the pink lady t-shirt? Uh, it's pretty dope. It's got this uh, this gal on here, this chick. I guess she's okay with being called a girl or a lady. I did get these in a medium. I do have this shirt on from Supreme. This is a uh, size large. Welcome to my closet, everybody. You can't really, there's not as much room as I used to have, but like, this is a size large. Their size mediums are basically the same as the large almost. Tiny bit less room uh, in the in how wide it is. A little bit shorter, like literally an inch or less shorter. And sleeve length is a tiny bit as well just because, um, yeah, like half, like a quarter of an inch. So the medium is really not that much different in size. And I wanna have some mediums for when I wear shorts and whatnot. You know, because in Honolulu, I'm not gonna be needing to wear all these jackets and sweaters. I've actually sold like at least 90%. I still got a few left, mainly that I'm just gonna hold on to. I don't know. Anyways, uh, let's do some close-ups of these. Oh, what is my, what am I doing? Yeah, so there's your little label. Sorry, my fingers are really dirty. I put those hand warmers in. I have like 10 of them in my pocket at all times. Yeah, it's like negative 40 outside, so even just one of these doesn't really work. You gotta put a couple of them together so they don't die out quick. And they leak this black. I've washed my hands, I've showered, I just, I just cut my fingernails again too, just, I mean, I don't cut them super close, but I can't get the stuff off my fingers. But anyways, back to this label. Oh, what is that? <laughs> Time for some sunscreen. I started that alarm just because I didn't want, I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna be moving soon. I better start putting on sunscreen now. <laughs> Put an alarm. Cause like, you'll die over there if you, well, maybe not that extreme, but you, it'll be really rough for you if you don't put on sunscreen, especially with my complexion. So whatever, anyways, you guys have seen this label like six times. I know, well, maybe not that many times, but, and you got your graphic in there already. You can see her. There you go, with all of that graffiti on the back. If anybody knows the story behind this picture, definitely let me know. I'd love to hear it. I just thought it was a cool graphic for the tea. I like this super bright color, really cheerful. I'm gonna try and get some more cheerful colors in general. I don't know what's going on. I actually put both of these t-shirts in the same order and they ended up, oh, hey, super screen stickers. They ended up shipping them separately, and so I'll set this off to the side. Remember your sizing, you know, standard United States sizing. I'm six foot one, 140 pounds, and yeah, Supreme Mediums are like the perfect size, and like I was saying earlier, the large is nice for a little bit of an oversized fit, just a tiny bit. It is barely oversized. All right, and then I also just grabbed, uh, well, first off, there's two more box Lego stickers in here, so. That's nice. I love to stick these everywhere. I don't know if they're really worth much anymore, Supreme stickers. There's just so many of them now. I mean, there's still sites that sell them, so I mean, I guess some people are making a living out of it, but yeah, so I had to grab the Christmas t-shirt. I just wanted to <laughs> check it out. I was thinking it kind of resembles a box logo, but it's not. It's a Merry Christmas right up there. It's a $10 Merry Christmas t-shirt. 
don't spend it all in one place. I thought that was so funny because people will actually say that and you're like, come on, seriously? This one I also got in a medium, an all white tea. Oh, here, you guys wanna see this? I don't know if you could really see the label or not before, but yeah, you gotta spend it. Yeah, gotta love those people who give you a little bit of money for Christmas and are like, wow, I'm such an angel for giving you $10. Yeah, great, 10 bucks, whatever. Okay, so I gotta cut this open. I've been like just taking the tape off on some of my previous videos. Um, where's my knife? I gotta find something. All right, I'm back. We got ourselves a butter knife. This is, this is how you do it, people, right there. I'm ruining the evidence tape. It has been tampered with. Man, this butter knife is great. Get them right through that tape. The only accent you can do now is like a bad American accent. It's the only acceptable one. Oh man, I'm so hyped on this. <laughs> I cannot, oh man. Okay, I gotta, I'm getting a little bit too anxious right here. I have like issues, people. Okay, yeah, this, oh man, this is so awesome. Ooh, look at this. They didn't even tape it though. They didn't even tape up the box. So it's just like, we'll open up any second. So give me a second, I'm gonna grab these. Two more Supreme stickers. Now I've got six in one day. You guys wonder what I do with these stacks of Supreme stickers. Uh, yeah. Oh man, dude. Uh, got the side of the box. Some information. What not. Top side. This other side here. Oh man. All these information codes, warning, whatever. You will get choked with this if you try and swallow it. Uh, <laughs> I think that's the, yeah, they legit didn't even seal this, so we can just check this out, dude. Look at all these stickers. There's so many little tiny stickers, and there's the shield. Dude, yes, okay. Oh man, there's so many parts to this. Look at that, just stacks and stacks of parts. Oh, another piece of the shield is in this one, or a part of it. To grab on, we have this, yeah, all these parts. Oh, and then the more solid ones. And then we have our instruction manual. The instructions to build the Gundam. <laughs> One of 100 scale. You know, there's a lot of stickers that they included. A lot of tiny ones too. And I only see three stickers on this. The completed product in the image has not been painted. Okay. The finished product may vary slightly. <laughs> some warning info. Okay, so here we go. Here's our Gundam. All this information, I can read all of this. I read every language, so if anybody wants to know if any of this says, just send me a comment and I'll uh, transcribe it for you. No, I'm totally joking, but I'll totally BS with you in the comments, no problem. <laughs> they got like tiny little pieces, I don't know, I might paint these before I put them on, the Supreme pieces to go onto the, onto the shield. And then uh, looks like he also comes with some sort of sword, lights. I was going to say saber, but I didn't want to say that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you have that option, or you have obviously his, um, whatever it's called, rifle. The actual completed product on the picture doesn't have all the stickers added on that um, they have available. So I don't know what, uh, what I'm going to do if I'm going to put all those on there. Because I was thinking about battle damage painting it. I don't know if you guys know this, but I went to graphic design school. I basically was going to be a rock star for a while because that's what my dad wanted me to do. He raised me on guitar and everything and brought me around a lot of musicians. And then, I don't, I mean, I'm just, I'm just kind of a techie kid. Like, I liked guitar a lot. I liked me. I love music. I love all the different genres. Literally every genre. Um, but then... I just kind of got into computers and like, t 
technology and data and coding and stuff. So I decided I wanted a computer degree. Graphic design was available at my community college. And so I became a graphic designer. Any medium, I just want to create something new. Like even when I was a little kid and I was learning songs, it's like, nah, dad, I want to write my own song. Like six years old, I'm like, tr or seven or whatever I was, seven or eight probably. I was uh, trying to write my own songs. And my dad gave me this horrible idea that um, people were writing songs from Bible verses and so then I started like pulling Bible verses and writing making them into songs and stuff and Yeah, that was kind of weird I should have uh, tried to come up with more of my own lyrics because then that kind of set me on a path of writing lyrics That resembled scriptures or I don't know a lot of what do you do with your life? What path are you on? What do you why do you go that way? And just a lot of questions in my lyrics because I was just kind of I guess I was a very curious person. Um, so yeah, I started my first band at like nine years old and we played like one gig or two gigs and then my, uh, I started another band with my siblings and that was really fun when I was like 12 and that kept going until I was 16 and then I went to college at 16 for graphic design and then I moved to Seattle <laughs> to try and become a millionaire with Amway, the multi-level marketing company. That didn't work out. So then I got a job at Comcast Corporate, was working sales and then I got asked by that church here where I'm living now in Montana to move here. And then, yeah, I quit that church once I figured out that uh, they were so against weed. Now weed's legal in Montana. You can just go down to the store and buy it. It's crazy. Um, what's going on in the fashion world? Oh, in uh, China, where was this? Changbai Mountain. Changbai Mountain in, in China, Cause Stone, did this amazing installation. This art installation is just amazing. So, um, Definitely check out that installation. These pictures kind of do it a little bit of justice. Uh, if you can get there yourself personally, I mean, what else do we got? Oh, there's a bunch of Jordan 1s coming out uh, for 2022. There's going to be more and more leaks coming out. You guys let me know which ones maybe you're looking at or you're hoping to get on this little graph here by Z Sneakerheads. Z Sneakerhead? Z? Whatever. Um, really the one that most draws my eye is probably number nine just because it has that bright popping volt but then number three has some cool hints to it and obviously number 10 with all that gray that's nice number 13 with the orange I mean that's okay we did just get an orange low so I'm more into the lows anyways but uh, that's just me and then the Union LA this Union LA dunk this one this blue colorway is going to be more just across everybody is going to get an option to purchase like a bunch of retailers be like 30,000 pairs so not even close to the amount they need and they have more colorways that are going to be maybe exclusive to certain places oh yes this actually is my number one shoe so far that I've seen this Jordan one that's supposed to be releasing this dark navy color blocking uh, I definitely really dig that Love my navy colors. Need some more navy. What else is going on? Oh, I saw this tweet by Pink in 2009. It said, Kanye West is the biggest piece of shit on earth. Quote me. <laughs> and then uh, somebody just said, uh, January 4th, 2022. Kanye interrupted an award show and everyone treated it like the apocalypse. And now we're actually in a terrible, crazy time. Oh, then they also said, life was so good in 2009 that the only thing to be mad at was Kanye embarrassing Taylor. <laughs> And Kanye did a lot for Taylor to help her and he definitely had no place, you know, embarrassing her with how drunk he was like that, you know, obviously he probably shouldn't have done all that or shouldn't have drank all that Hennessy and whatever else. I mean, uh, but that tweet is kind of blowing up today. Where is pink? Is Kanye is blowing up like nobody's business. Like, I don't know what's going on about Twitter with that. Uh, what else do we got? Oh, Kerwin Frost has this like fuzzy looking Adidas. <laughs> it's got some Terry fabric, like laces or something. They're all super fuzzy laces. On the top of the shoe being covered in fur. Um, Gunna coming out with his uh, Daniel Asham cover for his new Wanna. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. I'm excited for his album releasing like any day now or this weekend or whatever And then the weekend as well with his new album <laughs> is this super um, what do you like his <laughs> old man? <clears throat> with his elderly face <laughs> album cover. I'm like dude, okay, whatever um, I'm sure the music will be dope I'm sure it will the weekend always has good music and then what's up with people wearing stock X tags, please people cut those off since people wearing those things. Don't wear stock X tags out in public because stock X 
doesn't do anything for anybody. They're not off-white. Like Virgil is a designer, purposefully puts a tag, or he purposefully put tags on things to um, give them a little bit of a little bit of an edge, a little a little bit of something that makes you go, huh. Some people, I guess, are just happy to have a certain pair of shoes, and they're just super excited to show off the website where they purchase them. <laughs> yeah, you definitely want to show everybody that you, when you purchase his shoes from StockX, jeez. But no, you can get free StockX tags. Obviously, they're gonna be counterfeit, but you can buy those on Wish all day long. So you can put StockX tags on everything you want. If that's what you wanna do and make your stuff look cooler if that's what you think is cool. <laughs> Yeah, so some good music coming out this weekend, and then, oh man, this just in, Cactus Plant Flea Market has a new silhouette, a Nike shoe, it looks like a Nike Dunk, I guess, but they have really messed with it. They're not doing that whole 3% thing that uh, Virgil made so popular, they are going with a 60% uh, changeup, I don't know. Or maybe they're just covering it in fluffy fabric and dirt. <laughs> <laughs> but the sole is basically just looks like legit. It looks like dirt or mud or something. And I think that is crazy fire, actually. I really do like that texture on there, the way that they're they're putting that shoe together. Um, I do think the sandpaper is fairly durable. It basically looks like sandpaper. And then you got that suede in there. That ain't bad. Some nice uh, chunky laces. I'm definitely digging these green laces over those brown ones on that picture. And you got the yin yang on the one side. You got a, a reverse swoosh on the other down on the back of the shoe. Yin yang. Okay, I just plant flea market for the win on that one. They're gonna do well. Oh, and I guess I did go to Astral World 3 in 2021. To assist fans with medical expenses that have resulted from the festival, organizers have made a donation to Sweet Relief Music Funds. Sweet Relief, a music industry nonprofit focused on providing emergency funds, financial assistance to the music community, has stepped up to independently manage and distribute the funds to help individuals pay a portion of their medical expenses. So that was really nice for them to do that, and I'm so glad uh, we're gaining a little bit of headway, kind of moving past this whole fiasco because I know um, this can happen uh, whenever there's poor management at a big event with uh, celebrities who are larger than life and who have a huge following. Because whenever you have a huge following, especially people who are diehard fans, they uh, will do whatever it takes to get close to that celebrity that they are so obsessed with. And so I understand why this event happened. Everybody was overly obsessed that night and the structure of the stage and the management team that they had appointed was not adequate for the amount of enthusiasm that some of these concert goers had in their efforts to get as close to Travis as they possibly could, or as close to Drake, honestly, because Drake was up there when it was all happening as well. You know, tragedies are happening all around. That's never gonna stop. Existence is struggle, and struggle is existence. If you don't have any struggle in your existence right now, it's because you're not trying very hard or life has just been handed to you and it's super easy for you. Like, you don't have to try. I have to try. I come from a family of 13 children. If you fight every moment of every day, think about other people's lives, think about how you're affecting them, and continually focus on moving yourself to where you want to be, <laughs> dude, you're gonna fucking get there. Like, when you get discouraged, understand that's a moment of discouragement, and don't let that slip you up. And don't tell everybody about that discouragement until you've overcome it. Unless you need to talk to somebody about it, and then you can confide in somebody who you trust and adore, and maybe somebody who adores you back, so you can get some motivation. Because a lot of people, you tell me troubles, and they're just gonna probably push you down further, because they've already done a bunch of troubles in their life, and they've already have all these stories of people who didn't make it, and so they're just gonna try and push you down further to to keep you away from whatever goals you have, so. Literally, all it's gonna take is one action at a time, getting you a little bit closer. And you may start off with just, like, let's say you wanna start reselling or something. You know, start off with one pair of kicks, sell that pair, and maybe you'll be able to get two, and maybe you'll move up. And then, after a while, you'll probably be able to wear some of the stuff, and you're not even gonna feel bad about it, because you've already made some money from other things you sold. Obviously, I'm not saying reselling should be your main job. It's not mine. Reselling is just a side thing. Don't really make a whole lot of money on it. Why? Because I like to wear a lot of my stuff. Like, that's just plain and simple. So a lot of it I sell you, so I kind of break even and whatnot. Stay positive, be yourself, do those things that are going to advance your life, make you happy. The people around you that you love, that you want to stay around you, do things that will make all of them happy as well, so that you can keep that 
good community around you. Like if there's people in your life that are just tearing you down and you do something that's gonna make them upset, who cares? Legit, who cares if they're upset? Like you don't need to make them happy anyways. Like there's no reason for that. So people pleasing is definitely a big thing right now. And you just need to be careful what kind of a line you draw. Cause it's, you definitely still have to care about people and their well being. But um, when it comes to your mental state and their mental state, like you gotta stay on top of your own. Cause you can't control any of theirs. So, and that goes back to deconstructing as well. Just as you're deconstructing, there's things that are gonna have to be removed. And there's relationships that are gonna have to be removed from you. Deconstructing is not is not a fun thing to do. Taking down Christmas decorations. Well, maybe some people love that. But most people don't want to take down the decorations, but they enjoy putting them up, you know, festivities. So anyway, stay positive. I love you all. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.